some dry sorrel some people call it hibiscus which i didn't know i only thought it was called sorrel but now later on in life you learn so many things that you should know and that you shouldn't know later on in life so this what is in it i have been boiling some ginger some clove nutmeg ginger clove nutmeg cloves ginger nutmeg this is what i've been boiling for the past like 15 minutes before i added the dry sorrel some people say oh let it draw wash it first i didn't wash it because it was safely packaged in this and to be size if you wash it you take away from the rich color because if when you wash this sorrel you have to throw away the water and throwing away the water will be like taking away from this rich color see rich red deep red color some people even everyone has their own style some people do not boil this um after they boil the ginger and the cloves and the nutmeg and some people add orange peel and stuff like that i even add cinnamon in the cinnamon sticks after they boil it then they add the sorry and guess what they switch it off and put it there but i would like to boil the sorrel because i feel like boiling the sorrel for another 10 minutes i feel safer because because i didn't even um wash this packaged sorrel because it had been packaged and sealed but if it was a fresh sorrel i'll advise you to wash it but if you wash this this packaged sorrel what would happen you would lose some of the rich red color this is why I'm giving it an extra boil because I added the hibiscus dry sorrel or hibiscus. So I'm giving it an extra boil. Look, you see ginger is in there. And then what am I going to do after? After it boils for like 10 minutes, for a few hours, I'm going to leave it quite a few hours well enough to settle. When it's really cold, after five or more hours, I will put sugar. Or maybe I will add the brown sugar now. Yeah, you could add the sugar now. Then it will be strained and bottled. And what else would I do? I would add some rum. Because someone came from the Caribbean. I'm not a rum drinker. But this is how I got some rum named Rivers. Have you ever heard of Rivers? If you've heard of Rivers, let me know. Do you know where Rivers come from? Rivers. This is what I'm, Do you know what Rivers is? I'm going to add some Rivers after it has been strained and everything. Because someone came from the Caribbean and they bought some rivers and brought me some rivers and i'm so delighted because i can add some in my sorrel sometimes i add like ray and nephew you know not a lot just a little bit to flavor it up and guys i do not want this to boil for long because i added the the dry sorrel i don't have any fresh one as i mentioned before to mix you know some people mix both dry and fresh but as i'm saying I will not let this boil for too long. Look at the color of the spoon. See? This is rich red. That is what the color is. Rich red. Nothing more. This can prove it is rich red. This is a dry story. If you come across this channel and you like it, subscribe. Because this is what YouTube is all about. You like something, you hit the like button and you subscribe. Yeah? Don't be afraid to try new things. You can add your own twist. Don't be afraid to try new things in the kitchen. You can add your own twist. 12.59, about, you know, um, 10 past 1. I'm going to switch this off because, because it has been put in very hot boiling water that has been boiling already with ginger, cinnamon sticks, um, a little bit of nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon sticks, nutmeg, and some cloves. This is all I'm going to... In there, and when it's strained, I'm gonna 
then I'm going to add brown sugar. You can add sugar of your own, whatever sugar you like. I would like to add brown sugar. So this is what I'm used to, to sweeten stuff, you know. And after the brown sugar, I'm going to strain this. Listen carefully because I may not put the recipe into the description box. So I'm telling you what the recipe is. Recipe is the process that you will take from the start to the end. And it's not everyone that will know how to make this or have any idea thanks for watching subscribe or like and look out for some more cooking tips be very careful in the kitchen but some of us are just prone to getting a lot of buns in the kitchen than other people so be careful than some other cooks and stuff like that bye see you and let's leave and let's leave if you have a channel that you think i should support let me know and i will look at it and if i think that i'm you know interested or uh, like your product or whatever um, i like it what you're doing and if you know i will subscribe i will support if it's clean if it's a clean and when i say clean no obscene language or anything if you have any a lot of obscene language in your channel do not ask me to subscribe <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching, but you can also count on my support. So don't forget to subscribe, and if you need me to support your channel, let me know.